Hello, 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 sweet souls. I pray that all is well with you guys. Let's get some clarity on the message for my collective. I think I'm going to do readings based on each sign, each element. Next, I've just been doing collective readings, but I think I want to go back and just start doing how what everyone can expect for like the month, a week, or you know, whatever set time frame. So I'm gonna try to see how I want to do this. Um, let's start off with today. I am kind today. I will make this day count. I will do something kind for someone. Okay, so tomorrow, be sure that you guys. Or whenever you guys see this video that day, make it count. Do something kind for someone if you're capable of doing that. And in whatever way that you can do that. Today, I live in the present. Today, I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. Okay, so I feel like this day going to be popping off really smooth. This tomorrow is going to be really smooth here. Okay. In control of your attitude. Don't not let nobody stop your shine. Okay. Even be feeling blessed. Somebody feel like, okay, I'm blessed enough. I could go and help somebody else. All right. What's going on? What is going on? But I'm not going to do it. Do you have any more messages? Thank you. Okay, today I am respectful. Today I will acknowledge other people's thoughts and feelings as well as my own. And understand allowing other people to be in control of their own attitude is what I'm hearing. That's for somebody for sure. Okay, today I will look ahead. Today I will see my future. It's a bright life that you're looking forward to. Okay, being respectful to yourself as well as others. Something to do with time here. Something takes time. There's progress being made. Okay, it could have took you, I'm hearing it took you time to get to this point, to get in this type of energy. So let's see what messages your angels have for you. Let your past go. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lesson and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and now it is gone. Okay, and now all by myself was playing in the background. So yeah, somebody let go of their past and they're like, it, it took them. I feel like somebody it literally is levels to this shit. Like it took time to get here. Okay. Let go of the past and to live in the present. Being respectful of others, being of service to others, as well as looking forward to a future, to a bright new future. Be honest with yourself. About maybe if you're acknowledging other people's feelings. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe for you to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon your angels for courage and strength to take good care of yourself. Yeah.
Okay, let's get one more. You need to let go of the past and take time to heal, or you did take it. However, let's see, let's see. All right, family. Look towards a bright future with your family. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calm and blue light and many angels. Be open to the sci-fis within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Be respectful, being honest to your family, I mean, with your family. Okay, however that may resonate for you guys. <clears throat> now, what is going on for my collective? Follow your head. Follow your intuition. And keep choosing love. Continue being forgiving. Forgiving, being kind, loving, understanding. Okay, what else is going on? What else for the collective that is going to resonate with this? Your soul knows how to heal itself. You just have to quiet your mind. And be in control of your attitude. Okay, you have to be honest with yourself if you have a like, short fuse or whatever. You know, be honest with yourself about it. Okay. What's going on here? Somebody don't know any better. So, but yeah, whoever this is that didn't know any better before they did whatever to you, continue to choose love. If someone did anything to cause you any type of harm, pain, or anything, that's a confirmation. Definitely continue to choose love here and let go of whatever that past issue is. Okay, let's see. What's going on for my collective? What's going on? Okay. What's going on for my collective for this week? What can my collective expect for the week of the 29th through the Fifth, 29th through the 5th, what can my collectors expect, 29th through the 5th, it could be hard for some of you guys to get out of the bed tomorrow, especially with tomorrow being Monday, 
Okay, it's like back to your routine here. Back to the the normal, what the regular scheduled program. <laughs> All right, what's going on with Tuesday? I just seen practice, so someone could have something to practice. Okay, Tuesday, what's going on for my collective? Tuesday. That's when you're going to be comfortable within your job. Someone could be moving on Tuesday here. Or that's when you like taking a load off, you know, that Monday grogginess is falling off. So then Tuesday, you're like, all right, you're ready to get this week over with. Okay, okay moving. Follow your head, moving to higher intelligence. There could be some business contracts as well. Business agreements, business negotiations. Yeah, see, somebody is a hard worker. Someone can work at a clothing store here. I feel like it's somebody sitting right at the end of my bed just watching me get this reading right now. That was really fucking awkward. Okay. I don't know why I just got that because I never get that feeling. <clears throat> Look, and then motherfucking, hey. <laughs> They're like, we come in peace like that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You guys could be strategizing something. A father could be moving as well. Okay, so Wednesday, y'all could be spending too much. Somebody could be spending too much at this clothing store. Let's see what's going on Wednesday. Pull out game week. <laughs> what? Yeah, hit the gym. Like somebody working out Wednesday is leg day for somebody. <laughs> Thursday, what's going on? <coughs> Y'all could be having issues with a co-worker. Somebody testing your patience by Thursday. Just chill. You only got a couple more days, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Friday. This is too funny. Friday. Why haven't I ever did this before? Friday. 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 Motherfuckers is going to eat their words. Yeah, somebody getting new furniture here on Friday. I envision more for maybe a job because you've been there in a job for so long. Okay, maybe if it's some shit with a job, y'all just need to go and blow off some steam here. <clears throat> Yeah, I just seen give the haters no love. Okay. Okay, so Saturday, I believe we're on Saturday. Saturday. What's going on for Saturday? Jesus, man, with the daddy's wife, <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth, shut up, okay, let me, let me, okay, what I said, we on Saturday here, 
Saturday. Saturday. Somebody could be looking at YouTube videos on how to like fix something around their homes. I just seen. With age comes wisdom. You live and you learn. Okay. Damn. Shout out to your bro for being a real one. Okay, this could be like somebody's older brother that somebody could be communicating with. Yeah, somebody's brother could be like hitting them up. Okay, what day was we on? Saturday? Sunday. Sunday, what's going on Sunday? Look, I'm telling y'all, pull, pull out game week. Somebody, y'all better pull out, strap up, whatever. If up. What I said, Sunday, Sunday, what's going on? What's going on Sunday? Look, black man, pull out game week, full break, victory. <laughs> yeah, somebody is like, somebody is not trying to pull out at all. <laughs> So be sure not to spend too much money. Y'all could be seeing 666. And if you do, that means you spend it too goddamn much. That means stop. <laughs> okay. There's a karmic relative here that is selfish, inconsiderate. And that is miserable as fuck. There could be a masculine that is planning a trip for the springtime. Make sure that all your shit is secure. Okay, if you guys are like going out drinking somewhere. Especially if it's with a relative. Don't. If you, if you already get bad vibes from somebody, regardless if it's a karmic relative or not. There could be a karmic female relative that's trying to link up with you and get drinks and talk shit. Don't link up with them. That's for somebody. Um... <clears throat> Somebody don't clean up because they clearly don't give a fuck about cleaning up. Somebody, okay, so I kept saying examine your home. So somebody could be saying some shit about your house. But jealousy will have you hating on motherfuckers that you should have been learning from. Okay, so that's clearly for somebody here. Somebody loves to cuddle. That could be why they're hard to get out of bed. They'd rather just be goddamn cuddling. And I don't blame them. Now let's see what's going on for this week from our collective. What's going on? From our collective. You attract love by joy by enjoying the moment fully so this whole this spring vacation that you're talking about somebody i feel like somebody's working on that you're taking a trip with a lover here with someone that you're dating And then we have soulmates. 
Your soul knows how to heal itself pertaining to a soulmate. Okay, so I I see spoil brat and then victory, but so somebody could be happy that they're going on like a shopping spree here. True love. Then we have house and romantic feelings. So if you were like really down, somebody could be getting furniture as well. Let me see. I'm trying to. Yeah. Make sure that all of your windows and doors and shit are locked at all times here. Um I feel like somebody is attracting true love to them. Free yourself from your thoughts. Whoa. Yeah, a gift. So I see somebody could be receiving an actual gift. Wow, we have birch and then water or lake. So somebody could be planning a trip like to some water, around some water. Okay, with this birch here. This represents New beginning, birth, fertility, and family. I also say somebody could be having a baby, but I feel like you're not going to have this baby until you're with your true love. A missed opportunity coming around again. A strained relationship being rekindled. Take tender care of yourself. Don't skip on your self-care. Reach out for emotional support if you need. Suggest that a loved one will be there for you. So yeah, definitely seeing a grow here for my masculines. There could, on the flip side of this, there could be some family conflicts here with some harsh words. Somebody could be spazzing out. Someone may be resisting to help someone else. Make sure that you're not expecting someone to behave in a way that you would prefer them to as to opposed to accepting them for who they are. That was another thing that goes back to these cards, accepting people for who they are. That is definitely heavy on this. Some of you could be on the road to recovery and you will feel like yourself again. That could be why it's hard for someone to get out of bed. Okay, and this next one is this symbolizes water and emotions, water echoing, changing tides of your emotional state, 
unexpressed feelings beneath the surface that you've tried to keep a lid on. This is your permission slip to let them tears fall. So some of you guys could be crying if you need to. You will cry too if it happened to you. Okay. I don't know. What the fuck? I just heard that. But if you're in a stressful situation, this encourages you to be flexible and to just go with the flow, even if it means to call a literal timeout. Go be near some water. That's going to bring you clarity and peace. Taking a step out of your comfort zone with a new job or an adventurous trip. So yeah, I'm getting both of those. It may be a time to take a chance and seek a new horizon. <clears throat> take a step away to get some clarity to help you get some gain some perspective over the situation is what I'm seeing and hearing. Okay. So if there's a concern, just it go to the water. Go find your water fountain and then think. Okay. So let me see. What is let's do some two. What's going on with this? Okay, there could be romantic feelings with a Scorpio Pisces Cancer masculine. Or this masculine could be feeling like he had lost out on something. Lost out on a chance to have a romantic connection with someone. Okay. Somebody is not listening to their intuition on spending too much money. So make sure that you're listening to your intuition. Yeah. Because if not, then shit is going to... It's going to blow up in your fucking face and then you're not going to like it. Okay, so something happening. Okay, if somebody going out to get drinks, there could be like, I'm getting loud and oblib I'm hearing oblivious, but it's not oblivious. Belligerent. So, hey, that's on you as far as what you do with that. But I'm definitely saying some shit happen. Okay. Somebody could be getting a message about going to link up to go out to eat, get drinks or whatever, and some shit is going to happen. So don't do it. That could be this woman. Yeah, see? I'm telling you, it's going to be some fight and it's going to be some shit, so do not fucking do it. Literally, walk away. You could be with somebody and they end up fighting with somebody, some shit like that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 911. So it's 911 right now. So somebody be calling 911 type shit. Like, don't let it get to them. <laughs> oh my God, people. Okay, what's going on? <clears throat> Who is this message resonating with? <laughs> I'm just curious at this point. Who is this message going to resonate with? Somebody definitely gonna end up losing a phone in the process of this shit. Yeah, breaking free from whatever this karmic fucking cycle is, whatever this fighting and shit is. So 
somebody greedy and lack control. So it's like excessive drinks and they start acting up. I don't know why the fuck I'm still stuck on this. <sighs> Literally, somebody in your family is trying to get you to go somewhere and do some shit. And you you looking at it like, nah, I I I I think I'm good. I really think I'm good. Hmm. Especially if this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine. The girl that you going with gonna be fighting somebody. Is that? Yeah, don't release that burden. Don't be worried about that. You gonna waste money. 